We finished off the last video where we had been working with our join. So we have our county data, data and we have our series and we keep getting joins that are empty actually. At first we had joins where we just had errors uh, because it was thinking that it was the same column. We got a join that was empty when we used the longer format and we said county data of ID and series of ID. Uh, we also got an empty join when we changed the name of one of these to SID. That gives us the same result. And so either of those will, will work the same, but there's this interesting question of why is this empty? And why didn't it find anything? And the answer to this one's actually kind of subtle. This goes with the whole data wrangling aspect of uh, big data. If you play with this BLS data much, so for example, la dot data dot let's actually go with our smallest file since I'm opening this in VI one of the things that you'll see is while there is a tab right there that's a tab there's a whole bunch of spaces here and that winds up being significant because for the series we trimmed all the values we have a map to trim and that means that we took off all the extra white space that isn't happening up here. So the normal CSV reader isn't trimming out the series. So I guess it's possible we can take out the trims here, but quite honestly, I don't need to have all those extra spaces. That's why this is coming back empty because the series from for the county data hasn't been trimmed and for the series data, it has been trimmed. So there's a difference in white space. Okay. Instead of taking out the trim here, I want to trim the county data. Now, how am I going to do this? It's tempting to do this as a map. Uh, indeed, I tried doing this as a map and it fails. Uh, it gets an exception that, quite honestly, I can't explain to you why uh, exactly we're getting that exception. So instead, I'm going to do this with a select. And as long as I produce an output that matches the LA data, so it has the ID, the year, the period, and the value with the right types, everything will be happy. So I have imported functions underscore, and there is a function for trim. So we can trim the ID. This one has ID as its name. And then I, now that would come back as trim of ID, so I need to say as ID, so it preserves the name. Otherwise, this as here is going to run into problems because when it tries to make it an LA data, if it doesn't match the field names, we have a problem. It knows those field names because of the encoder that was used here. And then the others are just straightforward. Year, period, and value. Uh, we mentioned in the last video the possibility of doing a sampling of this. We looked at the method sample to possibly make this uh, run faster. So just to show how we can do that and whether we do that before or after the as LA data doesn't matter too much to me. Sample we are not going to use with replacement and I'm just going to take 10% of the values. So let's run this. I possibly could have done a show on county data. Uh, if we had an old show on county data and a new one, we could see the effect of the sampling, the fact that we would have different values there. Now, the column headers that we saw before might have looked a little bit weird to you underscore one and underscore two. Why do we have that? Well, remember the join with returns a tuple and the fields inside of a tuple, much like the fields inside of the case class are named the names we put in here. The fields inside of tuples are always named underscore one, underscore two, underscore three, etc. Since this is a two tuple, we just have underscore one and underscore two. And there we go. So this not only didn't crash, it's not empty, and you can see that we appear to have matching values there. 
one of the things about the show method is that the show method does not, uh, you know, it concatenates things. It only shows a certain width. You could calling the first method, which will give you the, the first value, and printing that out will let you see the, the full data that's, uh, that's available with this uh, and doesn't concatenate stuff. Sometimes that can be helpful because there are these, these situations like the one we just saw where doing the show and the fact that it cuts off data. For example, remember the problem we were having here was one of these was trimmed and one of them wasn't. Well, even if we had been showing the data, we wouldn't have noticed that. Possibly if we had looked at it in this way where we had pulled the first element of each the county data and the series, we might have noticed that the county data had a whole bunch of extra spaces in there. Uh, I have just worked with this BLS data enough that I know there's a whole bunch of extra spaces on there. And so it occurred to me that this trim was kind of what was causing the problem, the fact that we have a difference between those two. So here is the full LA data, and here is the full series that we have for the first element that we pulled off. So this shows you how we can actually do a join with, how we can get a typed collection, because when I pulled in first, it's actually a tuple of LA data and series. The show shows things with column names uh, for the, the tuple type. But when you actually pull out the data, so if I were to collect it or something like that, <clears throat> which I wouldn't want to do at this point because there's still a lot of data, but if I had filtered this down more uh, and then I collected it, I would actually get these nicely statically typed values that do error checking and whatnot. So this shows you some of what we can do. We'll come back and we'll look at how we could bring in that extra data file that we have and then join it together with this and see where we can go from there.